Asashi Buri to all my old and new viewers alike. This is Asashi Arthro, and in this video, I will be sharing the top 10 tips, features, and bugs to be good at or to have fun with when playing crypto in Apex Legends. I'll be moving down the list from most well-known to only crypto main known tips, so make sure to stick to the end if you want to find out the best tips to play or to start off with him. Tip number one, crypto's drone can be thrown. A lot of players may know that Crypto's drone can be thrown, but many of those same players don't actually capitalize on that feature to its fullest. Although for older players, you may have played the game knowing that Crypto can only instantly go into drone view, but as of Season 12, Crypto's drone received the ability to be thrown a short distance without the need to enter drone view. This opens up a lot of options for ways Crypto players can make plays while incorporating the information and utility the drone can provide, both offensively or defensively. One example of an offensive play that can be made is to throw the drone into a room the enemy may be occupying to receive info. Due to the 240 degree FOV of the drone and the fact that it can scan even through smoke in most situations, even if the enemies were to destroy the drone upon entry, you'd still be able to get a scan similar to that of a Bloodhound wall hack, except you can go through walls. The only downside of this is that enemies need to be within line of sight or to be visible through a window to be scanned. Another way the drone throw can be utilized is when you're being chased or you're being pushed. The drone's uninterrupted throw distance is between 18 to 28 meters depending on your throw angle. To maximize your throw distance, an angle between 0 to 45 degrees upwards or downwards should be able to give you an uninterrupted throw distance of 20 to 25 meters. Considering your EMP range is 30 meters, this should give you enough time to exit your EMP range just in time for it to go off if you activate your EMP the moment your throw animation ends. This should be able to catch your attacking or pushing enemies off guard and out in the open. But it is suggested that you throw your drone behind some cover if you're trying to perform this play, because the drone HP is at a surprising low of 50. Although being able to divert your enemy's line of fire when thrown up is good, it is not very beneficial in this context if you lose the drone and the EMP for 40 seconds, even if your ult is fully charged. Giving your team less info during the actual fight itself and making yourself vulnerable to a third party. Tip number two, stop always staying in drone view. This tip will actually be partially building on the first tip and a major mistake many rookie and new crypto players will make. Unlike all the other legends, crypto is the only legend where his entire kit revolves around his drone tactical skill. So the moment his drone goes out, his ult and passive instantly becomes redundant. This surprisingly makes him the most vulnerable of all legends after his drone is taken out. That's also taking Seer into consideration. Although that may be the case, the key to playing Crypto is actually to not revolve your gameplay around his drone, but actual normal gunplay and positioning. Although the buff on being able to throw the drone has made the drone more usable as a budget surveillance camera when he's being used in the middle of a fight, it's important to know that unlike many other legends who have a tactical or alt that they can independently use that utility, Crypto has a higher risk reward trade off in that he trades off his utility and survivability of his drone for a constant stream of high density information provided as long as, dro as his drone is alive. Thus, it's important to learn not to overly rely on your drone and to trust your own game sense and gunplay as your number one priority. Tip number three, your teammates can see what your drone sees. Okay, I think for all viewers, you're probably wondering why the first three tips are like so basic. Okay, to be very honest, the first three tips are mainly focused on his kit basics that are already mentioned in his skill description. But unfortunately, many rookie and new crypto players will overlook this and have made and will continue to make very obvious mistakes on. This one will be focused on the fact that many new players assume that only Crypto is able to see scans from his drone, just like how Vantage is the only one that can see the shields of, team, of the teammates of the person she is scanning. But his passive clearly mentions that his ability to share his drone scans with his teammates. Make sure to capitalize on this info provided by a fellow Crypto in your team when pushing, 
And as a crypto, your ultimate priority when giving info during a fight is to position your drone in a spot that can scan the enemies, but at the same time, if they do decide to shoot it down, it should give your team an opening to cover fire due to the diverted gunfire. Okay, now I'll be moving on to the info that less and less people will start to know. So stick around to know the tips and tricks used so you can use it as a crypto and those that are used by your enemy cryptos. Tip number four, banner scanning. Crypto, when in drone view, has the ability to see the number of squads within a 200 meter vicinity of himself on nearby kill leader and champion banners on the walls, which can be pinged for your teammates. This range is approximately the size of your minimap, so make sure to make the most of this info provided and stick as close to your team as possible so that you can provide them with the most accurate information. This range is also much larger than the range of a Bloodhound Raven, which will appear only if the nearest enemy squad is at least 70 meters away. This is coincidentally the maximum range the drone is able to move away from Crypto himself, so if you see one or more squads on that banner, you should be able to scan them with your drone if you fly around for a bit. Use this fact to your advantage after bunkering down in the ring or, in, or when looking for squats to fight. Just an FYI, it's suggested you type the number of squats in the vicinity in in-game chat or tell your teammates in voice chat if that number goes to 4 or higher, because Crypto will only say many enemies nearby both in voice line and on the ping feed on the right of your screen. Tip number 5, Drone Maximum Range. If you've watched if you watch tip number 4, you'll know that you can only pilot your drone up to 200 meters away from you. But did you know, the drone will only return to crypto due to insufficient range when the range hits 240 meters and above. That's 40 meters more than the maximum range you can pilot your drone. Although you are unable to move your drone past 200 meters, you are still able to rotate in place, scan enemies, EMP, and interact with objects. This is actually a very useful feature when you're scanning beacon when you're playing edge ring. Many crypto players who do that will like to put the drone on a recon beacon in a POI that they've already looted while moving to the ring, and then enter drone view to scan it when the range hits approximately 220 to 230 meters. It's suggested to slide while entering drone view to maintain momentum during the quick beacon scan. This long range scan will not only give your team map wide information on the move on where to rotate while moving to the ring, but it will also confuse enemies into thinking that there is an enemy in the POI that you scan from. So when you push them, chances are they'll be caught with their pants down, not expecting a squat to be pushing them so quickly, giving you easy KP in fights. As a crypto, always remember, they say knowledge is power. If you like the tip so far, feel free to like the video and click the subscribe button. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Tip number 6. Always carry ultimate accelerants. Due to the both offensive and defensive utility of Crypto's EMP, it is very effective in many situations regardless whether you're pushing, defending yourself from a push, or warding off third parties. Considering how the alt XL actually reduces your alt recharge percentage by 35%, it is important to always carry at least one to two alt cells in your inventory. One if it's between the first to the third ring, and two if you're on the last three rings. This can prove pretty useful when you're getting pushed unexpectedly from a third party after a quick reset, or when consecutively EMPing a squad in the last two to three rings to chip down at their shields or when initiating a fight between two squads. Carrying alt cells will also be much easier if you have a, a teammate Watson, because Watson can carry two alt cells in one stack in her inventory. Tip number 7. Passive droning when taking angles. When holding position in a large building with multiple entrances, or if you're on high ground, your drone can actually act as an extra pair of eyes to watch an entrance where enemies can potentially rotate to and third party and or flank your team from. This also lessens the burden on your team by decreasing the number of angles your team has to actively watch. Tip number 8. Drone Positioning Earlier, I mentioned that Crypto's drone can be thrown to act as a quick scan when quickly pushing a squad. Another method that can be done while in open areas or in a chaotic third party is to position the drone in a favorable high ground where your team can actively see the entire view of the fight and decide when and where to push. 
older crypto players would be slightly better at this, considering they know how they had to do this from when crypto's release till season 12. This skill can also help you get an opening to be able to EMP an enemy squad in the midst of their confusion. Okay, from tip 9 and 10, I'll be introducing some quote-unquote features of Crypto Drone that are very widely used amongst more experienced crypto mains. Tip number 9. Drone Throw Methods. As someone who's played crypto, I'm sure you're very familiar with the basic tactical click to draw throne and the hold to throw Here are the two other variations to the two basic tactical throw techniques. These can vary the distance of the throws. The first method is the more commonly used long throw into drone view, where you hold the tactical button for a short amount of time such that the throw distance is closer to that of a simple throw while you still enter drone view at the end of the animation. This is usually used when you're quickly when you're looking to quickly clear distance and scan a certain area for enemies. Another use will be mentioned later on in tip 10. The second mention is the more niche short simple throw, where you click your tactical button to throw and immediately hold your tactical button again in succession as if you're trying to enter drone view. This should get your drone to stop prematurely in the throw in the throw animation about 5 meters away from you. This is usually used to act as a mini shield of 50 HP to cover you while you're healing or act as a temporary surveillance camera for low ground. But be warned, the drone will over time slowly droop down to ground level for the shot short simple throw. So don't leave your drone in that mode for too long. Tip number 10. Drone healing or item usage. It is possible to use heals and items in drone mode, but only when used when initiating a throw plus enter drone. It is possible to use items ranging from bats, cells, syringes, med kits, phoenix kits, and altex cells. This is usually done when you do the long throw into drone, or you do the short throw into drone, and then just before you enter drone animation, you click your heal or your item button. This is usually used in conjunction with either the short simple throw drone to cover one's body, or in the long, dro in long throw into drone view, both from tip 9, to scout for enemies while healing. Note that the heal will take the same amount of time as it is supposed to, and for those who didn't know this, both your weapons will also be reloaded during drone view, which will take the same amount of time as per normal, but if you're performing the drone view healing, you will use your heal up or use your item first before you resume your weapon reload while you're in the drone view. And for all those who made it to the end of the video, I hope you all learned something from this video and have learned how to better use crypto in Apex Legends. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like it, subscribe to my channel, and comment what you think. To all the crypto mains who are currently watching this, feel free to comment what I've missed or may have gotten wrong in the comments. I'll really appreciate the feedback. And with that, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Asashi Arturo signing off.